So, I'm back with another video. I bought an old GoPro camera to take you with me into the fields on my walk with the dog to take some nature photography pictures. Yeah, let's roll the footage and let's go. So, yeah, this. first thing I noticed with the GoPro is that the battery is not good. <laughs> but we will try to work things around. Maybe we'll switch to the R8 at some point. From this point, the GoPro actually lasted for at least an hour with half of the battery loaded. Always charge your batteries before you go on a walk and you want to film yourself with the GoPro. I actually can tell why I didn't do this. This looks nice. Maybe a little bit more. Yes. Oh, oh, what? Clumsy. Maybe we get second shot here. The light is not working no fingers today. I thought it would be a little bit more. Oh, it has over. Can you get the burn in there? Ah, I know. It's weird if there's a no thing there. Oh, maybe we can. This works for that. As you hear, you don't hear anything because. It was really windy and the noise reduction on this old GoPro Hero 3 Black is his name does not really work well but okay Maybe we can have this too. Ah. Oh, perfect. Ah, okay. A little bit more. <laughs> to be honest, we all know the dog is the star of the video. Like, how should it be different? Ooh, the light comes out. Ooh, nice. Maybe we can have this. Look nice. With some anything. We indeed used 
some editing there. Not that much, to be honest. A nice preset. A little bit work with the sliders. Not too much. See a nice open field with some people in the back Maybe. Maybe we can use this. Oh, clumsy. Oh, this looks nice. Yep, nice. Good boy. Hmm. As I said, that's really money out there. Nice. Let's walk into the woods. Then we can try some cliche blurry pictures. Oh, yeah. Some, some things to work with. For this photo walk, I use the Canon R8. I use at the moment for filming this, and I used the trusty old 50mm 1.8. Yeah, my most used lens, definitely 50mm minus my favorite length because it's close to what we see with the human eye I guess and it's classic we want to say it like that with the Canon A1 I also use the 50mm and on the Nikon D5600 I use the 35mm which is equal to 50mm on a full frame sensor. The bokeh is nice. It's really good in low light situation. I mean, it's f1.8, so this is obvious. Just a good classic. And this one doesn't have a um, built in stabilizer, but at 50mm it's okay. I use the Digital stabilizer of the R8, it's working fine. I never had a problem with it until now. Yeah, what's your favorite length with lenses? You can write it in the comments if you want to. Okay, nice. Oh, this is nice. Maybe. Still. Maybe we can get some decent looking images on the screen. Something looking really, really nice. No, this looks like something I want to say on the internet. Um, but maybe here. Maybe there. Oh, maybe there. Some good textures. This. Clumsy. Ah. Hey. Yeah. There he looked for some food. People just don't let your food lay around in the woods. Just put it in the garbage. It's not that hard. Maybe with the light. Maybe we get some. Hey. 
trees like this always a more decent for a very thick texture and it's just Bam. The goal today is not shooting the most awesome pictures you have ever seen in your life. The goal today is to check out the GoPro going outside with the camera. Try to challenge yourself with shooting and the most boring places you know the uh, places you are so used to that you usually don't think about shooting there and just to challenge yourself a little bit oh this looks kind of cool yeah goodbye Oh, that's my time. Come on, come on. Clumsy. Come on. Oh, we have some nice light in here. That's good to see. Maybe we can a little fan for lunch. Yep, the point with shooting in the most boring places. Some time ago, I watched a video by James Popsies. And and in Q&A he talked about shooting in boring places or taking photos in boring places and the point was like probably people who live somewhere else uh, do think oh I live in a super boring place I'm gonna go to Germany to Bavaria and take some nice pictures there and people in Bavaria are like oh I want to go to Mexico to should fancy follows them and maybe you just have to look around in the area and try to find some decent spots for taking photos there and just look around in the place you live especially if you didn't go there to um sorry i got an email where where was i Ah, okay. Maybe just have a look at the world in the area a little bit. And especially on this account, I'm, I'm not really focused on going to the most fancy places you have seen on Earth, like on Instagram and YouTube and stuff. Like, it's always the extreme. It's like always going to the sickest places in Madeira and stuff like that and everything you see on social media and you sit at home and feel bad because you are, don't have the possibilities to go there for whatever reason and I think you can take decent images just walking straight out of your door in the next park and you have some nice nature there and it's not it's not like every place on earth is ugly except for like New York City and the woods in Madeira. <laughs> but it's always like the point of view you have to such things. And just look around, just try to find beautiful places and something to enjoy, something you want to take photos of in your near era. And I think it's a nice challenge for yourself. Then doggy break, then doggy break, then doggy break. Then doggy break. 
Just a moment. Just like this very pattern. I hope you can see it. There we go. I have to get a really nice tree maybe we can use that. This looks nice. Maybe top of the shadow. No. Okay. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Right. There we go. Nice pictures today. Definitely. Hey. Ah. Uh -uh. Yeah. Clumsy. Uh -oh. Yeah. Nice. Good boy. Talking about challenges. Yeah. Try some decent nature photography when you have a dog with you. So, even more Textures. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I have no fucking clue where we are. Just some. Um, We have to take the dog on a leash for a second because there is another dog on a leash. I'm going up here. So, always take your dog on a leash if you see another dog on a leash because this is just friendly and we are nice people. We don't want to have any weird interactions. This looks kind of funny. Oh, this is looking really cool. <laughs> this is really looking, this is really looking good. Funny. No way. Come. Oh, here we have another big way. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. And we should make this less hard. Hmm. This big tree is really not doing you a favor. So 
Christmas. Oh, okay. Welcome. Okay. Here it is. Aaron C had one intentions of a simple setup. You just have one camera, one lens, ready to shoot. There is someone passing by, you just not much. Oh which lens do I take? Which focal length I use with my zoom lens? No, it's just like one fixed focal length. Getting it out, take the shot. Having a good time. <laughs> hey! Uh-uh. Clumsy. Baby dog. Huh? Yeah, then, uh, do you need a little pause? No, no, oh no, no this is not a sign for pausing. This is a sign for having exactly one brain cells. I don't know if this is a good picture. I don't think so. Let's be honest, it wasn't that bad. But okay, to be honest, yeah. Maybe. And F4, uh, F4, Shall I speed up? Maybe we can get this. this huh? Yes, nice. This always looks cool. Maybe a little bit of composition. Let the auto focus to its thing. Yeah, nice. Okay. So, I think. Ah, we can capture this. Like one last. One last shot. This way. Look pretty cool. Maybe we have the one. Ah, it's only bad with the trees in the bag, it's way too much distraction. Maybe we get one little. Little orange fingers. Ah. Nah. Okay. <coughs> so we're right back. That's the point we started. Maybe we can take a little. Picture. This scenery again. Bam! We have the tree blocking the view again. So, done again for this week's video. I hope you liked it. Uh, find the GoPro footage looks okay. I mean, it's an old GoPro. It's like nearly 10 years old, I think. 
and my setup was very DIY because I didn't want to wait until my body cage arrived. It's naturally arriving today. So I take this. This is tape. But to be honest, it worked. So to the con conclusion, difficult word, I prefer going out there with one camera, one lens, a simple setup, simple GoPro, just keep getting out of there and uh, keep getting out there, taking photos, just put in the practice, just keep it going and keep it going. I really try that there is barely a week where I don't touch my own camera. And even, I, I even try to use it every day. But this is nearly impossible, except for jobs. But yeah, it's just, just try it. Just go out there, have some fun. You don't only uh, always have to take the most extreme shots of your life. Not every photo has to be like the top of your game. I think there's so much pressure coming from social media and contests and stuff like that. So, comment if you want to subscribe. If you want to, until the next video, goodbye.